yeah. Uh, hi, uh, hi, uh, what's up, you guys? King Lightning is here today. I'm really tired. I'm really groggy. And you guys who are longtime subs of mine know what that means. You get what you get. That's the way it is. That's just the way it is. Yeah. Things will never be the same. That's just the way it is. Uh, so, listen. Uh, okay, first of all, North Chapter 676. Very easy. Uh, one finger motion. And let me just say before I get started that the PS4s are already shipped. The winners are getting those. And by the way, that feels like right here for like the, the guys who actually won that, as well as the manga stuff. I'm going to ship over the Berserk volumes tomorrow, and then I'm also going to, because John wants 10 volumes of One Piece, so, I'm getting to, so I'll get 10 volumes of One Piece, either on right stuff or on Amazon for John. And that's it. So, that being said, this chapter Naruto, first of all, my live reaction, which is also right here in the top of, uh, left hand corner of this video, I failed to notice this because of the epicness of Madara, okay? And I apologize. Sakura. Like, like, what is going on in there? Like, there's literally a point in time where, no, like, there's two things that happen that just throw me the fuck off. The first thing is that she takes credit for uniting Naruto and Sasuke. What the fuck? What did you do? Sakura, what the fuck did you do? Why are you taking credit for something that you have no part of? What the fuck is that? Nah. No, I'm like, yeah, I united him. Sasuke came back of his own free will. He brung over the Kages. And when he hopped down and said, yo, I'm going to be the next Hokage. I'm going to be the very best. That never ever. I'm like, he, he was that nigga. That, that's what Sasuke did. Fuck. That's what he did. What, what do you have to do with that? Hashirama was the one. Who brung these cats together? Not you, Sakura. Step the fuck down. Seriously. Number two is like in the midst of combat, Naruto saves her. And she's like, yeah, I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm peaches and cream. And then she's looking over at Sasuke. And I think like it was a mistranslation in manga stream. But pretty much it was her stating or her wondering if Sasuke still cared about her. I'm like, what the fuck? Madara's right there! Yo, something is seriously mentally wrong with Sasuke. Something is really wrong with him. How can you be thinking this shit when fucking Madara Uchiha is right there and he's raining down fucking Chibaku Tensei? Like, 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 what are you doing? Like, yeah, I'm gonna be a distraction. Madara took care of you so easily. It was like, no, this was nothing, man. Just, yeah, overdone. And then you try to punch him, like, oh my god, fish, uh, fail. You, he blocked it. You can't even perceive the fucking limbo. You don't belong in this fight. The only people who are in this fight that are actually relevant. You don't know, no, these three guys are the three top dudes in the verse. You have Maru Chiha, you have Naruto, Kid Jesus, Naru Jesus. Jito, that's who he is. You have this kid, okay? And then you have well, formerly Mr. Emo, now Mr. I want to be the very best, Sasuke, who is the incarnation of Indra. Who the fuck are you, Sakura? Like, like who are you? Oh, right, yeah, yeah. 
You're nobody. Step the fuck down. Fuck out of here. Dog. Ugh. Next thing. Um, okay, so I want to go, because in my live reaction, I was talking about it. And people wanted me to clarify as to what I meant, what I was talking about, about the whole, like, guy, like, my guy being country level and then that kind of stuff. I mean, this ties into like, the whole, like, power scaling thing that I used to do before for, like, verses. And I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do them because right now I'm on break. I have three months off, which is fantastic. Today I'm just tired as fuck because I spent 10 fucking hours on a goddamn train and I spent another hour on another train with only two hours of sleep. I'm running around four o'clock in the fucking morning and I'm going on a tab and I'm I'm going on, on, on a taxi to a damn train station. This, no offense, but like this Indian dude, he's like, what are you doing? Hurry up. I have to go get my next fare. I'm like, fuck you, man. Wait, four o'clock in the morning, bro. Fucking piece of shit. God damn. Ah! Mmm! Damn it. That's crazy, man. No, I, I did not tip this dude. Normally, if I'm going somewhere in a cab, I'll tip the dude. Alright? But I ain't, because it was 4 o'clock, it was 4 o'clock in the fucking morning, and this dude had the goal, oh, please hurry up, I'm trying to get my next friend. Like, fuck you, I'm paying your ass! You wait for me, motherfucker. Fuck you, dog. Ah. Yo, I'm tired, man. I mean, yo, you get what you get. So, so. I mean. And yes, it's not like I made that shit up. He was actually Indian. <laughs> okay, so. And yes, that was actually his accent. I'm not making that even. Right? I'm, I'm not. I'm even in Buffalo. Okay, even in Buffalo. Uh, so the next thing, right? Here's how it pretty much breaks down. When Obito performed the four giant Bijou Dama to blow up everyone, everyone within like the six. Sun God Formation, whatever it's called. That blew up. And then his yin and yang sphere protection was able to protect him from that explosion. The thing here is that I was arguing with a person via PMs about why my guy probably isn't country level given... like, And, and then he was talking about potency pretty much, where... Okay, area effect wise, area effect means like how, like what, what area you can act. In. Area, it's self-explanatory, goddammit. Area of effect, come on, shit. But potency, more or less, is that because he was able to actually break the yin and yang sphere protection, and the yin and yang sphere protection did not break under the explosion. My guy is therefore country level. Because the four Bijou Dama classes were country level total. Alright, pretty much. Alright, if you guys understand that, good for you. If you guys don't understand that, then don't worry about it. Just don't fucking don't worry about it. Because right now I'm too tired to do it. I'm not going to repeat it. I'm just not, because I'm too tired. Here's the thing, though. He was trying to also debate, he or she, I'm going I'm to keep, that the yin and yang spheres didn't negate the explosion. They tanked the explosion. But that's not po the entirety of the yin and yang sphere. If it's not a hacks power like Akashi's, or if it's not Sage Energy Chakra, it negates it. It doesn't take it. It negates Jutsu. Period. And then you want to argue about how Biju Dama are not Jutsu. What the fuck is that? If Naruto can take Biju Dama and manipulate Biju Dama. In various forms and call them jutsu, then how come they're not again mini mini biju dama? The mini biju dama he classifies it as a jutsu, it is a skill. If the biju dama itself is infused with sage chakra, then yes, you're right, but there is no evidence 
of the four class B Judama being infused with Sage Chakra. Therefore, the explosion was negated. It wasn't tanked, it was negated. Therefore, you can't upscale my guy's potency to country level because he negated the explosion, he didn't tank it. Oh, fuck. Now, Maru Chia, fuck yeah, I'll give this dude multi country. Because what he's doing now is disgusting. What he's doing now is just filthy, alright? Canadian mud wrestling filthy. <laughs> I Every time I go filthy, I go up to Canada. <laughs> every time. So, I don't know why, I just do. But fuck it. Alright, maybe I'll say Brazilian mud wrestling with females, which is actually very nice. But, here's the thing though. You guys got my point. Modern right now, it's obvious, it's clear as day. There is no real if ands or buts about them. I mean, like you could argue like the size of the Shibaku Tenseis, and you could argue like the area, and it, you got all that stuff. Okay, fine, fair enough. You can do that, but that is more accurate. That is more sound than fucking than than whatever the fuck that it was that I just mentioned beforehand about my guy and the country shit. I mean, I'm pretty sure this guy's gonna see this video. Are you again? Boy, I don't care. Uh, fuck it. But this is the most logical outcome. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Madara has activated infinite Sukiyo. Bro. Bro, bro. He has completed. Well, one of them, huh? I was going to say that he had completed enough. First, let's see the end result. Because right now, he has... Because I don't know how far Madara have levitated. Like, he just kind of like... Like, the entire time he was raining down Chibaku Tensei, he kept on going higher and higher and higher. Uh, is it just me? Is it just me? Or does the moon of Naruto seem oddly, like, close? Like, oddly, like, like really fucking close? Like, like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's me. But even if you were to go that high, because he's not in like he's not in space. Like let me like let me be clear about that. Madara right now he's not in like the exosphere. He's not that high up. But the moon looks so fucking close. It's like wait, wait, wait. It, it throws me off a little bit. It really does. So I mean maybe maybe that's what it's depicted. But the way I'm seeing it, I'm kind of like I'm not too sure. If, like, their world structure is the same as ours, because it, it kind of throws me off a little bit. Either way, the thing here... Well, I mean, if he is... How that, wait, wait, so if he is, then how is he breathing? I mean, again, I don't know, because it's not, it's not depicted that well. The actual Disney he covered. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. I don't know. Because I need to go back to the actual page where we see him drop the Chiwaku Tensei. Because he was quite high up. But he seemed very close to the moon. The thing here, though, is that the end result, of course, is the illusion itself. As well as actually taking... And we found out there's another part to this whole Infinite Tsukiyomi. We found out recently that once people are controlled by Infinite Tsukiyomi, they can merge with the Shinju itself. And like, but, but where's the Shinju? <clears throat> Excuse me. Where's the Shinju? The Shinju is inside Madara. So how can that stage of the plan actually come to fruition if the Shinju is inside Maruchia, unless Maruchia is going to somehow regurgitate the Shinju out. So if he can regurgitate or if he can merge out the Shinju from his body, then okay, fine, now we're talking. But then he loses his power, or he loses a lot of his power. Not all his power, but a lot of his power. So, it's iffy. It's iffy, uh, I'm not too sure. So, I'm happy that the Infinite Tsukiyomi plan has now finally initiated However, what are the end results going to be? Okay? Who can be controlled? Like, can you simply avoid looking at the moon and you're good? What about daytime? <laughs> what about daytime when the moon isn't in view? What, what happens then? Like, are people good? So, are people by night, they're being controlled, but by daytime, they're okay? Like, is that how it works? You know, so... How does that fully operate? So we need, even though I'm happy that the plan has come through fruition, 
The question here is, what about the specifics, all right? What about the actual cycle of the moon and the sun and how sometimes the moon isn't always in view? Also, what about just simply avoiding the gaze of the moon? You know, all that stuff. So again, it has to be explained. And what I do want to say is that Modern in this chapter was unbelievably badass. It was just the, the, the fact Sakura got stared down. And when this, let me, let me refrain from, let me refrain from saying that word because I know a lot of women get upset when I say the word. Uh, when this individual, when this woman got stared down, she retreated quick. Mara's like fucking like, and then she's like, huh? no. No! Of course! Badass! Then the fact that he just stood there and he let his limbos do the work. Okay? He was just chilling. His limbos just started to like, yeah. They were doing all the work. And he just coast up in the air. When this dude did the multiple Chibaku Tenseis, unbelievably badass. Un fucking believably badass. And then finally, the evidence of oh, this dude was badass. He was off the charts. Off the charts. Badass. Whoa. Oh. And he's actually a villain who is completing what he set out to accomplish. Ah. That's a very good thing. Not a lot of villains, especially in modern day Shonen, actually get to complete what they sell to accomplish. Let's be real here. Let's be real here. I'm just saying. All right. Well, at least he completed part of it. Not all of it, but part of it. Hopefully, we get to see it all completed. And then, like I said before, like, what I do what I do plan on seeing is, like, some alternate world where Naruto and Sakura and Sasuke, they're all friends and they're skippity. Like, yeah, skippity do da skippity day. My, oh, my, what a wonderful day. And then they just break the fuck out of that. Like, no, Pinky, yeah, ooh, Wonder Twin Powers, activate, and then they're just gone. It was, and then Invincible Gilman was defeated. But, again, according to Kishimoto, Madara, then the Shinju. So, people have been saying that Madara is slowly taking the appearance of Kaguya. Which throws me off because I'm like, Mar doesn't have man boobs. I mean, I have man boobs. He doesn't have man boobs. So it's like, I don't know what's going on there. But the people are saying that he's slowly taking the appearance of Kaguya. Mm, I don't know. However, if that was the case, then that would mean that this may tie into the whole second aspect of Kishimoto's outline for the end of the series. First Madara, then the Shinju. The Shinju is probably the host or is probably being hosted by... Kaguya. And then finally, we end the series off with Sasuke. That final battle, which will probably be a sparring match, or just a friendly match, or maybe even a series match, but it will be to like decide who is the next Hokage of Konoha. And... I mean, it's not going to be a serious like life and death battle, no. No, I, at this point in time, it's safe to assume that it will not be a serious life and death battle. Shame. It really is. But I'm done. Uh, Over rating, I liked it a lot. I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it the highest rate possible. Obviously, based on my live reaction, yeah, I'm going to give this chapter the highest rating possible because I think it was awesome. I think it was fucking awesome. And now I'm to the point where both of my eyes are closed. So that's a sign that that's a sign from whatever sky god you believe in to say, you know what? Night night. Night night. So I'm done. King Lightning. Rate the video. Comment. And subscribe as always. If you want to get more into detail with the whole power country thing, blah blah, blah you can by all means. I'll probably talk about that because I do plan because once my next strike goes away, because I have another strike, yay! Once that goes away, I'm gonna go back on the first stuff because I'm on break now, and I can do that. <laughs> so I'm done. Keep rate the video, comment, subscribe as always. Peace. Have a nice damn day.